Let's make something out of me wood. Yes, a wooden handle. But what for? Well, we've got a broken trowel. You see, hiding underneath that shave in there. Yeah, the old handle it rotted it did. So I think it deserves a new handle. And I have another one here as well that needs a handle. But I don't think it deserves a handle because it's one of them stupid pressed steel things and it's just, you know, it's not worth the effort. No. Whereas this one is, it's forged. So what I've done is, because I'm going to be making this all by hand, I'm not going to use a lathe to turn the handle up. I'm going to be using my hand plane. Wow. You know me, you know, I like jigs. I do like having a good old jig, that I do. Well, I have made myself this jig. So what I've done, I've cut two 45s to make a 90. All right, so my piece of wood, which happens to be square, can actually sit in there. It's an off cut of an old oak spindle from the staircases I built for somebody. And as you can see, that sits in there quite nicely. But what makes this jig special is the fact that I've, well, utilized one of those multi-tool blades in this end like so see that well <laughs> it works perfect to do yeah so we place that in the voice just like so and we place our piece of wood our specimen yeah of oak into there like that it's like having a bench dog so it is a bench dog isn't it it's a bench dog so you can actually put your wood in there like so and then you can rotate it and eventually you have round wood Tell you what, let me show you. And let's put a handle on this garden trowel. Yes, I'll get all optimistic. That spring is just around the corner, <laughs> maybe, because it's flipping cold at the moment. Well, that's enough for him for now. Well, I have to admit, this bench dog idea, it works a treat, it does. Yeah. Just watch him playing away that wood with ease with both hands on that stanley bailey number five jack plane wartime effort that one yeah just recently been restored that it has so we measure from the end to make allowance for the ferrule and using a pull saw just cut just into the wood because now it's time to start tapering down the end so we'll slide into the ferrule oh and flush with the actual handle now i was going to use all hand tools, but I had to succumb to the battery drill. As per usual, we've got to do a load of sanding, yeah. Now it's time to clean up the trowel. So that's what we're doing here. Oh, that was quick. There are very efficient wire brushes to help. Yeah, no power tools used, of course not. Hmm. So it's ready for the next stage. So back to him. Well. We've got our new handle, and no, I didn't turn it on a lathe, no. It's made from an old oak spindle, had the knobbly bits on the ends, so I thought I'd just leave them on there, actually. <laughs> so let you know how far up, it's like a, it's like a rumble strip, <laughs> how far we up the handle. So now what we're going to do is actually attach the trowel, yeah, to the handle. There's a couple of things I've noticed, there's a couple of, um, well, there's a little shake there in the handle. There's a little bit of a splint coming on there. So I was going to use this um, Moyot stick uh, by uh, Eureka Glues. It's literally just cyan acrylate glue. You can use any uh, cyan acrylate, to be honest. So I'm going to stick a bit of that in there. Because I don't want that coming up, you see, and end up jabbing me in my hand. And then a bit of activator on there. And that'll stick that one down. And I noticed there's a little shake on the hair. I should have really cut the handle short already and got rid of that shake on the end. But I didn't notice, to be to be honest. So what we're going to do is I'm going to whack some super glue in there as well, and that can soak into that. It won't matter too much because the ring's going to go on there, your ring piece. Yeah, your ring onto your wood. Oh, my giddy arm. Oh, crikey. Oh, blimey. The things that come out of my mouth, I just can't help myself. So what I'm actually going to use to secure this inside is a nail, which is here somewhere. Here it is. Here's a nail, which we're going to peen the end to actually hold it in place and drill a hole right through. Pretty much how it's done before really obviously been done by machine <clears throat> so we're going to place it in there but also i'm actually going to use a bit of pu glue a couple of reasons one is yeah it's sort of rusting but also it'll fill any voids you see in a, in there so it'd be less likely to get any, any movement so what i'm going to do is i'm going to whack a bit of um of this was it a casca casca per by eureka again and um it's just that they've actually supplied me with a load of glues, you see, so it's very kind of them. Well, obviously, they're getting videos, aren't they? But, you know, I'll chuck it in there like so, and make sure I 
wiggle that about loads and that'll expand in there then you see yeah and up with the super glue is going to we'll repair that crack once this collar's on and uh, the cask repair will swell up in the space and fill any voids because they yeah the, for start the forging is not the same all the way along is it it's, you know um no not at all so we're going to drive that onto there and yet again i might actually back a bit of super glue way around that because yeah again that'll, that'll fill some voids wouldn't it it's reasonably tight anyway to be fair so i'm gonna whack that on there like that an excuse to to use my glue yeah <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna drive that that ferrule that collar onto there like so okay and what i need to do is drill right through that hole is there it looks like it was only on one side looking at that, but i might go all the way through i think Let's draw a bit there. Make sure that's on, all the way on. What that does is, what the leverage here, you see, that'll stop the end from splitting. That's what that will do. So let's make a bit of um, activator on there, and that'll speed it up yeah, again by Eureka. I have to admit, everything I've had from the from Eureka glue so far has been really good. I'm not paid, just so you know, but they do send me the glue, so I suppose it is sponsored in that way. So at the moment, you see, it, it can twist. Well, we're going to stop that, we are. Now, I'm going to use my little uh, jig or vice, or I don't know what you'd call it, to be honest. A spindle vice, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to use that to hold that while I just drill that. <laughs> Multitude of uses, isn't it, eh? I should be doing the drill press, but I'm not going to. Um, because not everyone's got one. Now, that collar, I need to bring it around a bit. It's in the wrong place. Luckily, it hasn't gone off yet. Yeah, about there. Guess then I can. So I'm going to drill down there using a drill bit, the size of this nail. It's not that one. Is it a three mil. Three mil. I'm going to draw right into the steel of this trowel. Well, that's enough for him. Secure the ferrule and the trowel head. And how we're doing that is by drilling through the ferrule right into the uh, trowel head spigot. And we're going to secure it into place using a single wire nail. And then we can peen it into a dome. Once we're satisfied that the nail has been peened into a dome, we can give it a final sanding and a generous coat of boiled linseed oil. Well, back then, I suppose he's going to want to show the missus. So there you go. We now have a new handle on our trowel. I tell you what, should we go and surprise the missus? Yeah, let's do it. She'll be so happy. I bet she'll be straight outside, yeah. Straight outside and start digging, she will. Crikey. Yeah, oh, it goes dark in here. Oh, come here we go. Oh, okay, we're now coming into the house. Where is she? Oh, Caroline! Oh, Caroline! Oh, oh there you are! Oh, Caroline. I made you something. Yeah, I made you. Some wood. <laughs> yeah, I've even lubed Emma too. Yeah. Oh, it's bigger than yours. What? It's bigger than yours. 